Hello, my name is Sally and today I'm going to share with you my top tips for disguising under eye dark circles and puffiness and bags. As we get older, our dark circles and, and bags under the eyes can become more of a problem and more pronounced. Um, this is due to various factors. Um, it can be due to just the general thinning of the skin. There's less fat, there's less collagen, so that darker blood vessels actually show through more. Um, if you are lacking in sleep, you all know that when you've had a bad night's sleep, your dark circles look worse. Your skin is in contrast sort of paler and duller. So again, the blood vessels and the tissues show. Um, eye strain, when you're looking at computers all day long, that can also give you dark circles um, simply because your blood vessels are enlarging to sort of deal with the eye strain. Um, allergies, if you get hay fever, sometimes you get more puffiness and dark circles. Dehydration is a definite factor as well, um, as are thyroid problems. And some of us are just generally, um, we have inherited more dark circles and more bags through our, through our genes. So if that is a problem for you, there's a few things that you can do. First of all, make sure that you are drinking enough water and that you are being hydrated from the inside out. Um, Get enough sleep, easier said than done sometimes I know, but if you're finding that you get puffiness under the eyes, then you can elevate yourself when you're sleeping and actually maybe elevate your head on a couple of pillows rather than one. Cold compresses work really well with um, dark circles under the eyes because they will actually help to shrink the dilated blood vessels. So holding a very cold flannel there or getting some ice cubes wrapped in a, a tea towel and holding that there can also really help. Make sure when you do your makeup that your eye under eye area is really hydrated because if the area under the eyes are uh, um, is dry, that will mean that concealer won't look right, it will go cakey and anything that you put under the eye will show more. So it's really important if you find that the area under your eyes is dry to use an eye cream. Um, so the Night Revive eye cream that Look Fabulous Forever do is brilliant. And I use a tiny amount on my ring finger um, at night. I just tap it around the orbital bone of my eye um, and let that sink in and do its work while I'm going to sleep. Okay, so make sure your eyes are hydrated. I have done all my makeup. Um, I have actually put foundation on, but only sort of up to here, but I haven't put any concealer on. So you can see I've got some dark circles and a, a little bit of puffiness. I'm not, I'm lucky that I haven't got bags that have become suitcases yet. Um, so if you've got really dark circles, it's a really useful idea to use um, a color corrector. Um, we do, the Look Fabulous range has a colour balance neutraliser in peach. And the peach is brilliant because it actually will, it's an, got orangey tones which counterbalances the blueness that you get under eyes. So the first step would actually to be put your face prime all over as you would normally. And the second step would be to do your colour balance neutraliser. Third step would be to do your foundation. Fourth step would be to do concealer over the top. So I've already done the foundation, so I'm slightly out of kilter just for the purposes of speed for the video. But I'm going to show you the um, colour balance neutraliser now. So take it out. You can either add it, put it on directly from the applicator, or you can take it onto your hand and just use your finger. The secret to this product is not to use too much. It is quite orangey. So when it goes on, if I just pop it on, you'll see it does look quite orangey. So don't panic because this is not the finished product. Um, so I put a little bit on in the areas that are blue. I don't put it sort of around here um, and I don't put very much on. So I'm going to now take the concealer brush number four and just blend that in, just sort of tap it in. So it does look a bit weird at this stage, but it's not finished. But what it will do, the, the sort of the orangey hues will balance, counterbalance the blueness if you've got really dark, dark circles under your eyes. So that is stage one. 
Um, I have, as I said, I've put my foundation on. If you've got quite dark circles under the eyes, I wouldn't put thick foundation on that area because otherwise you're going to have too many layers. You're going to have your colour corrector, you're going to have your foundation, your concealer, and it's going to be too much. So I've actually just put my foundation to sort of about here um, and not gone, certainly not gone right up to here with it. Next stage is to use concealer and the Look Fabulous Forever Cover to Cover Concealer, this is the number two one, is really creamy. And that's really important because you don't want to put on a concealer that is dry and cakey and just sits in fine lines. We've all got sort of fine lines around the eyes. So this product is brilliant because of its consistency. So again, you can either use your finger. I'm going to take a little bit up with my concealer brush. I have chosen number two because it's the nearest to my skin colour. Um, a lot of people like to use a very light concealer under their eyes and actually that can have the effect of sort of panda eyes and can be too light. So you want to go more similar to your actual skin tone. So I'm going to just now pop that on. Um, again, a sort of stippling action where I have got darkness. So in the in the sort of the, the middle, middle, I would say area, rather than lots of it out here where I've already got quite a few lines. I'm now taking my ring finger and I am tapping. Tap, 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 tap. And the tapping action will melt the concealer into the colour corrector. The other place I'm going to put the concealer is just sort of in my inner corners of my eyes where it also gets a little bit bluey. Those veins sort of pop up there as well. And so I'm just going to just a teeny bit more. I'll talk about bags because that's a slightly different issue in a moment. So I haven't got very strong bags, so I don't need to worry too much. So how do you keep this in place? How do you set it and how do you stop it from creasing? It's very difficult to stop concealer completely creasing if you've got lots of fine lines around the eyes, but there are a couple of things you can do. A very, very, very fine powder, and I'm using my um, eyeshadow brush number seven and the Look Fabulous Forever's translucent powder. And this is a, you can, you can put just literally like so, just patting it rather than dragging it on, not loads. There is a technique called baking where you can put actually quite a lot on and let it sit for a few minutes and then dust off the excess with a big powder brush. You can try that and see if that, that works. Um, it's trial and error depending on how many lines there are, or you could just put a little bit on like I'm doing and just sort of tap it in um, and hopefully you can see that, that that works well. If you find also it still creases a little bit, then um, jojoba oil, a certified organic cold pressed jojoba oil, a tiny, tiny drop just over, will just sort of melt in the concealer a little bit more. Um, the other thing you can do is a little bit of makeup setting spray sprayed onto a beauty blender and just blend that in to hold it in. But I find usually just the translucent powder works really well. Now, if you have bags under your eyes, if you've got bags, you will tend to have a deeper, darker indented bit underneath the bag, underneath the puffiness. So the secret is to actually put the concealer into the darker, deeper indented bit because concealer is slightly lighter, so that will have the effect of bringing the indented bit forward and have the make the illusion of flattening the puffy bit. If you put a light concealer on the puffy bit, that will make the puffy bit stand out more and become more puffy. So the secret is to put the, the concealer more onto the indented bit and just tap it in. You can put a little bit under where it's dark, but not too much and not too light because that will have the effect, the opposite effect that you want. So don't put too much product on. That's the secret. Blend it really well. Use a powder to set it. Um, 
and if it's really dark then use the peach corrector before you do your foundation and your concealer if you have got really dark circles under the eyes distract makeup is a great thing you can use it so really lovely lip color strong lip color make your brows look good make your blusher look good and maybe if it's really bad don't wear too heavy a dark eyeliner underneath because that can also sort of draw the eye there a little bit um, and um, just enjoy playing and to using the correctors to, to work for you thank you very much